The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. And how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics. And today we are going to talk about winter. Why do you have more heart attacks in winter? What is the reason? Why people get more heart attacks, heart problems exacerbate in winter? What is the change? Right? It's more than just vasoconstriction and you'll see it. So let's start discussing it, right? Number one reason, right? First thing is that in winters, the duration of days become less and duration of night become longer. That itself changes your hormonal cycle, hormonal balance. So some hormones actually increase inside you like cortisol. Right, because your body is generating more heat, also it needs more glucose. So cortisol is needed, glucocorticoids are needed to generate more glucose. Right, that itself, the cortisol itself decreases the threshold of your cardiovascular events, so that can lead to heart attacks. Number one reason. The second reason, obviously, is the cold. Right, cold temperature actually makes your arteries, your blood vessels, tighter, and this tight blood vessels will have less amount of blood flow and therefore less amount of oxygen therefore your systems your heart if they already have a blockage if it already has a blockage an angina can precipitate you might develop a heart attack especially in the cold mornings because morning temperature is the most cold in winter that's why the most number of patients coming to the emergency are in the morning early morning right in winters then in the cold, your body needs to generate more heat and that's why there is more demand to the heart. There is more workload on the heart and it needs to generate more heat, more blood pressure, more actual pumping power. That itself is one of the reasons for exacerbated heart problems because if there is a blockage and the heart has more work, it, it will cause problems. Okay. Then if there is more cold, what do you do? Right you actually start doing a lot of coffees. You start taking a lot of caffeine. Caffeine and coffee in a very large amount obviously is a stimulant, will increase your heart rate, will increase your blood pressure, will decrease your fluid because it causes uh, diuresis, so dehydration, so that will cause problems. Again, more stress on your heart, it will decrease your sleep also. Less rest, again the cycle goes. So avoid a lot of coffee, a lot of, a lot of caffeine. In winters, you start eating more, right? A lot of weight, you people actually put on a lot of weight, right? That increases your risk, right, on, of the heart problems. AM surge is there. What, is, what does that mean? That means early morning, your blood pressure rises, right, in the morning. Early morning rise of blood pressure is very common in winters, in summers also. That's why people have a higher risk in the morning because higher blood pressure means the heart has to push against high blood pressure. That is again a big overload. And at that time, what happens, most of the people actually, uh, most of the doctors have therefore started giving the blood pressure medication in the night, late at night, so that the effect stays in the morning because whenever you take the blood pressure medicine, it takes four hours, three, four to six hours for the medicine to actually have the full effect right starting the effect full things that's why you need to take it deep in night uh, late night before sleep that's what cardiologists have been doing now right blood pressure medicines later then people actually exert themselves more in winter because uh, days are short and it will be dark very soon so they try to finish all their work in the morning that itself will increase their stress plus there is more cold temperature plus there is vasoconstriction tightness of uh, blood vessel plus there is bp surge so you can see how things are happening in the morning plus people also smoke People will smoke a lot in winters to generate, I don't know what. So smoking will also increase the tightness, will also increase the heat and it will not do any good. It's very harmful. So smoking is then another big reason why you might have a heart attack in winter. So remember, right, all these points you need to take care. There is only one way, one way to prevent this problem, awareness. Only if you know about all these things, only then you can prevent it. Only then you can stop yourself from doing all these things and increasing your own heart attack chances. 
right so awareness is very important right you need to start slow in the morning right you need to monitor your blood pressure heart rate before going out in winters if it is high then rest for 15 minutes don't go in and have another cup of tea or take a cigarette right that's wrong right that will again increase the problem increase your heart rate blood pressure you need to rest if your blood pressure is not going down then don't go out or take your medicine again or talk to your doctor that's the thing right you need to make a plan you need to stop smoking you need to decrease your caffeine intake you need to manage your weight it's very important in winter to prevent heart attacks so that's all about why you get heart attacks in winter and how you can prevent it make sure to share this information it's vital for every single person who is obese who has a heart risk who has sugar bp diabetes hypertension right who has angina problem who has cardiovascular history who has cholesterol problem obesity right who has stress who smokes cigarette who takes tobacco who drinks liver failure kidney failure everybody this video is very important make sure to share it make sure to follow the challenge i'll see you tomorrow i'm dr paramjeet stay connected stay healthy